everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff, and I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So I hope you consider subscribing and joining our little adventure family here. And today I have my hospital bag for you guys. Um, if you guys are new here or don't know, I am pregnant. I'm 34 weeks pregnant um, while I'm filming this. And figured it was a good time to kind of like sit down, get all my thoughts together on what I want to pack for my hospital bag and get it all together. So I just have a couple things over here I'll share with you. I am a first time mom. So I'm just kind of like doing my own research and seeing what other people pack and what I want to pack. And I'm going to take things that make me feel comfortable, but I also didn't want to overpack. I am a chronic overpacker. Um, you can ask my husband, I overpack for every trip we ever take. It's just how I am. Um, but we do live close enough to the hospital that after I give birth, birth, if I need something, my husband can like run back home and grab it for me really quick or whatever. So it's not like a super big deal, but I do want to make sure I have like the basics and like stuff I know I'll definitely need. So basically I have right now a baby's bag my bag. And then what I think I'm going to do is I have a little note here on my suitcase. You guys can't see it. Um, that I'll throw like the extra stuff that I want to bring, but I'm still like using currently into like, um, a big like tote bag sort of purse sort of thing and take that. And then I'm sure my husband will bring a backpack or something. There's still room in this suitcase for like his clothes and toiletries and stuff. So I figured we could share that and then each have like a backpack or a purse or something. And then the baby's bag will probably stay in the car with the car seat until we're ready to bring him home or after he's born. Um, that way we're not loading, like bringing his bag in too because there's nothing really in here that like either of us would need right away. So that's kind of my like basic overall plan. So let's just start with the baby's bag because it'll be easy to show you sitting here and then we'll kind of move to the ground so you can see the suitcase. So first of all, I'm gonna leave this again with the car seat. It's just a nice, warm, cozy blanket that we got from our shower. Um, obviously he's due in March uh, and it could be extremely cold. So I wanna make sure I have something nice and warm and cozy to throw over him in um, the car seat. You know, something to give him a little extra warmth when we take him home and this is so soft and fluffy i'll try to link anything i can down below um but some of these were like gifts and stuff so i don't know if i'll be able to find them um this is the Serenoni brand i don't like i said not sure where this came from but just a nice soft warm blanket to throw over him in the car and then i am bringing my diaper bag for everything i've read and from what I've heard from like my own hospital taking my birthing class is like not to bring a lot for the baby. They will give you a ton of stuff. So I wanted to leave the baby bag kind of fairly open. So that way I can put all those things that they give me in a bag, have extra space for them. So there's not a lot in here. Um, this is a, I think this is um, a skip and hop. That's what it is. Bag. Let me look again. Skip hop, yeah. This is the diaper bag that I've chosen. It's super nice. Um, I like it so far. Obviously, I haven't like used it as a diaper bag, but it feels really nice and well made. Um, has a little pacifier holder here. And then I did leave this little packing cube in here that comes with it just in case, again, I want like some extra storage for something. That way I have it. Um, there's a bottle holder. I don't know if I'll need, but again, I left it in here. There's actually still paper in here. I took the paper out. But just in case, again, just like an extra storage thing, you never know. Um, and then inside the actual bag, I did throw in this manual breast pump. This is the LV Curve. It's just a wearable like silicone breast pump. I don't want to take a big manual one. I don't even have a big one yet. But I did want to bring something just in case. You never know. Um, and I feel like this is going to be easier to transport. But it's just an LV Curve. Um, like I said, it's just like a wearable, hands-free breast pump sort of thing. So I'm going to pop that in the bag. And then I popped a couple pairs of socks. 
because again, he's going to be born in February or March. It's going to be cold. So I have a couple little socks. Uh, these are Bombas. My mom actually got them for him for Christmas. And I just thought they were so cute. So I brought two pairs just in case. Um, and then I got, I brought two pair, two, or I brought a set of mittens. Um, just because baby's nails tends to be sharp is from what I hear. So having a set of mittens is like a good thing to keep them from scratching their face. I also have something else for that and I'll share with you in a second. And then a couple hats. Um, this hat actually goes with the whole outfit I'll show you. And then um, someone actually hand knit this hat for him. So I figured those two hats would be good. And then I just brought a couple outfits. So the first one is just a plain onesie. I brought two different sizes. This says it's zero to three months, but it's pretty darn small. So I figured if he's a little little guy, this would work. It just says, hello, baby. I thought that was so cute. So I brought this. I might throw a pair of pants in with this eventually. I just don't have any small enough ones that would like match this. So I am placing an order for some like little pants, but um, just thought that was a cute. Again, it's a little bit smaller. And then I also brought this outfit which again, that hat goes with this little lion hat, goes with this outfit. It says, it's a little bit bigger. It says, just arrived. This one says it's three months. So I just brought a couple different sizes just in case, but it's got little pants to go with it with lions on it. Um, and then the hat, it all kind of goes together. I thought that was a cute one. Um, and I just saw you never know how big the baby's gonna be when they come out. So just to bring a couple different sizes. Obviously I didn't wanna pack too many things, but I figured one of these will hopefully fit him. And again, if we get there and neither of these are gonna fit him, I'll send my husband home to get a different outfit for him to go home in. But that's all I brought in terms of like clothing. Again, I didn't wanna overpack for him. Um, they'll have a lot of stuff there for him. And the only other things I packed was a muslin swaddle. This one's just blue with stars on it in case I want to take any like cute pictures with a cuter swaddle um, at the nursery or at the hospital. I have that. And I also brought this really cute receiving blanket. It's just a little bit thicker. Again, if it's cold or something, I have an extra blanket just in case for him, but it's got little puppies on it. I just thought that was so cute. Um, this actually has a whole outfit that goes with it, but I don't think it's going to fit him when it's when he's born. But so I just brought the blanket, but super cute. The only other thing I packed for him was um, a pair of nail clippers and a little nail file. Babies apparently come out with jagged nails. You don't want them to scratch their face or anything. So I have the mittens and I have these things just in case. Um, again, I didn't want to pack too much, but you just never know. So I figured those were small enough and they have a little case with them. These are from the Frida baby line that I would just pop these in their bag and pop them inside one of the pockets. Um, so yeah, that's all I brought for him. Like I said, I was trying to keep it fairly simple, not a lot of stuff for him. Cause again, the hospital will provide a lot of stuff for him and like little hats and onesies when he's like first born. So I just wanted to bring some cuter ones for when we're going home. So let me put all the stuff back in and I'll bring you down to the floor to show you my bag. Also, before I show you my bag, I would, um, we already have the car seat base in the car and the car seat and stuff. So like I said, that diaper bag and that blanket will kind of stay with the car seat until we're ready to like, we're like gonna get discharged and stuff. And then we'll bring those things up so he can put on his little going away, out, going home outfit and have the car seat and everything. Um, so I just wanted to mention that really quick in case you're like, well, where's your car seat? It's already installed. Um, I'll link the one that we have down below. So this is the bag I have. This is just an Amazon basics uh, suitcase. I'll try to link it down below along with everything else. Um, but I just have brought out the small one. It comes in like a set of three. So this is a small one. So what I have in here so far, like I said, I'll probably bring like a tote bag or something with the other stuff, but I have a towel. I know I'm gonna wanna take a shower and apparently hospital towels are no good. <laughs> so I did grab um, a towel. This is kind of one of our older towels. I didn't wanna take one and like ruin a nice one. So I have a towel. Um, I do have a little bit of makeup. I know there's a lot of controversy around people bringing makeup and stuff to the hospital, but I did bring 
a little bit. I just have like a BB cream I know I love, a concealer I know I love, and then a face palette that will work for everything. It's a Smashbox um, Cali contour kit. You can use it literally for a full face of makeup. So um, I just brought that, a couple brushes, um, and some mascara just in case I want to look pulled together or something. Um, I have the option, but I didn't pack too much, just a teeny bit. And I do have a bag of toiletries. This is obviously not complete, but I have um, some body wash. These are all just like random samples, so I don't know what these are. This is the Sweet Spot Labs Vanilla Blossom Gentle Wash. I don't know. I have a little tube of toothpaste. Um, I have a couple shampoo and conditioners. This is the perfect, the Sebastian Dark Oil ones. Again, these are just little samples. I have some Wee Dad Curl Cream because I do have curly hair. So if I do wash my hair, I have something that I like semi-style it with. Um, I have a little bottle of face wash. This is, this says it's Cetaphil, but it's actually CeraVe. I just refilled it with my current cleanser. Um, and then I have a little bag of hair ties and clips and scrunchies, stuff like that. Um, so I have a way to pull my hair back. Um, I always keep a bag like this ready just for like any trips. It's just got like bobby pins and again, scrunchies, hair ties, clips, whatever I might need for my hair. So that's all my toiletries so far. Obviously I'm gonna have to like add things to that eventually. Um, but for now, that's what I have in there. And that's kind of like the essentials anyway. So that's good. And then over here, this is where I have like my clothes and stuff. So first of all, I have some slippers, which I have other things shoved inside. These are the Coolabera by Uggs. I got these at the exchange on base. Tesco's not coming with us to the hospital, by the way. She's just in there. Um, they're just plain black, like fuzzy slippers. Um, I just want something I could like throw on my feet really easily while I was in the hospital, something to walk around with. And these are just so soft and comfortable and I've been saving them for this purpose. So super excited. Like I said, these are the Coolabera by Ugg. So they're a little bit cheaper, but they're still super soft. And then I had an eye mask in there in case I can't sleep, I want a little bit more darkness. I have a little eye mask. I have a couple socks. I have a pair of fuzzy socks and a pair of regular socks for going home. I figured the fuzzy socks in case my feet get cold while I'm like sitting in the hospital bed or something, I can have a pair of fuzzy socks. Um, and then obviously just an extra pair of socks to go home in. And then I just have a couple pairs of like older underwear just in case. They're just like boy short underwear. I didn't, I might buy some like Hanes basic, like cheap underwear, but for now I just have these kind of thrown in there. <laughs> and then in terms of clothes, I have a going home outfit. I brought this one piece or this jumper from uh, Old Navy. It's a maturity piece. I figured this would be cute, but it's still like super comfortable and big and stuff like that. So be comfortable to wear home. And then I have a long sleeve t-shirt to go underneath that. Again, it's an old navy. It's just a plain black long sleeve t-shirt to go underneath that. I'm sure I'll have like a coat or something if it's cold for to wear over it. Um, and then I just packed a couple things for like the hospital while I'm like still there. I have a couple big t-shirts, just like comfy, dark colors, easy to wash things. Um, I have a couple pairs of leggings. I've talked about these ones from Fabletics. Um, they're super comfortable and stretchy, so I figured those would be a good option. And I also brought a pair of maternity leggings, just in case, you know, someone's coming around and I wanna throw on something other than pajamas. I have something comfy um, to throw on and wear around the hospital. So in terms of like actual clothes, I think that's all I have. So that's kind of it for like normal clothes and my going home outfit. Again, I'm trying not to pack too much. And then I have a couple bras. I'll probably pack my other nursing bra eventually, but for now I just have the black one in there. Um, this is from Target. I think this was the, the Auden brand one. I really, I've been wearing these around the house just to get like used to them and stuff and they are very comfortable and I do 
like them so I just packed my black one for now but I figured a nursing bra would be a good option to have and I also packed this crop top from Free People it's easy access to the boobs and um just something comfortable and different in case I didn't want to wear the nursing bra all the time but this could still like go underneath a t-shirt or something and be super comfortable so I have those things and then I just have a few pajama things. So I bought this whole set from Target. This is from um, Stars Above. So I have the little like button down t-shirt. Again, good for nursing, really comfortable. These are so soft. I'm obsessed with this top. So I have the top. I have the matching bottoms. These are like the Capri version, but they're the matching bottoms. And then I also have the matching robe. I'm not gonna unfurl it, but I do have, okay, I will unfurl it actually. Um, I do have a robe just for something to like throw on over things in case I get cold, something really comfy and soft. But I love that it's a black color so it won't like show too much dirt and it, these wash really easily. So I have that as well. And then I did pack one extra pair of pajama pants Again, these are from Target. I've had these for a while. I don't know if they have them anymore. These again are from Stars Above, but they're super big and stretchy and comfortable. And these have just been really comfortable throughout pregnancy. So I figured they'd be comfortable in the hospital as well. And that's all I have in my hospital bag. Again, I was trying not to overpack um, and trying to keep it as simple as possible. Again, the hospital will give me things um, in terms of like care for after birth. So I didn't want to um, pack too many things. I just wanted to keep it simple um, and kind of stress-free. So that's all I have packed in my hospital bag. So I'm gonna get this back together and then I'll finish out this video. Okay, so in terms of things that I need to like add or put in another tote bag, I just kind of like made a note, you can kind of see it here, of what I want to add. So I have things like my wallet, my phone, um, a face mask, because we are still in the time of COVID. So I wanna make sure I have a nice, comfortable face mask for the hospital. My pillow, um, that might seem extra to some people, but I have a hard time sleeping. So my own pillow would be just amazing. My journal, I'm gonna be able to, you know, write down my thoughts and stuff as I progress through labor, or at least have the option to. Um, my Kindle, something for entertainment. My, uh, some, uh, my chargers, some headphones, a water bottle for sure. I'll probably end up throwing this one in um, with some Mio, which is like a Gatorade sort of thing. And then all the toiletries I still need to pack. So like the rest of my skincare, my toothbrush, deodorant, my glasses stuff like that. So that's all gonna go like, again, in just like a tote bag, something I can just throw together really quick and get the rest of that stuff together. And then what I have on my husband's list, so I'm gonna let him pack his own bag. But again, I'll probably do the same thing, have a separate note for him for like what he needs to pack last minute. But obviously he's gonna need some comfy clothes for the hospital, um, some sort of outfit to go home in, uh, his toiletries, his eye mask, his face mask, and then I have things like his iPad with pre-downloaded shows and movies on it and stuff, some more forms of entertainment on there, um, the charging like block and extra cords. Um, if I wanna bring my big camera, that's gonna go in his bag. I have like a little mini tripod I might wanna take in case we wanna take pictures together, some snacks, stuff like that. But I'm gonna let him pack his own bag, but that's basically what he is going to be packing as well. So again, hopefully not too much stuff, I'm trying to keep it like as minimalist as possible, but also making sure we like have for sure what we need. So yeah, that's what's in my bag on my list and on his list. So yeah, let's finish this video. All right, so that is everything I have in my hospital bag and things I'm going to pack and stuff like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any advice for me for anything like I need to add to my bag or maybe I don't really need um, or something that you just like really appreciated having when you went into labor, let me know what it is. Leave me a comment down below. I'm always looking for right, good advice. Like I said, I am a first time mom. So, you know, I'm, I'm open to the advice. 
Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.